Hi everybody, my name is Alexandria, or as most people call me, Allie. Uh, today I'm making my very first YouTube video, and I'm pretty nervous because I'm typically very shy and soft-spoken, so hopefully it goes well. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the company Gerard Cosmetics, and um, I have a couple different things to say about them, but this will be a 100% honest review on the company itself. So first things first, I've only made two purchases from this company. Uh, so it's not going to be a total like line review or anything, it's just going to be reviewing a couple of their lip products and kind of the company itself. Um, I haven't really heard too much about this company to be honest. I heard about them from Instagram, they have 1.1 million Instagram followers so they are pretty well known in the makeup community I suppose. So the reason I made my very first purchase was because it was the day the Kylie Jenner lip kit had just launched and I was at work like with my phone ready to go, ready to buy it. I had all my information typed in, credit card number, everything, had things added to my cart, and then I realized with shipping and handling and everything, it's gonna be almost $40, and I literally couldn't do it. I probably should have in retrospect now, but at the time, I just literally couldn't do it. So um, I canceled out of my order, and I started searching for things that were a little bit more affordable, a little bit more reasonable, and that's when I came upon Gerard Cosmetics on my Instagram. So I was going through and I saw that they were having a 50% off sale on some of their uh, lip creams. So I was like, oh, okay, perfect. That's, you know, what I was going to purchase from Kylie Jenner anyway. So I went on their website, found a color that I really liked, and pressed order. I got it. It was 50% off, originally $20, so it was $10 flat. No shipping, no handling, no tax, $10 flat. So I was like, fantastic. This is a great deal. So I received my product and it came in a really cute little uh, glass frosted uh, tube with a gold lid and has Gerard Cosmetics written on the top. Inside it's simply just, you know, like a normal liquid lipstick. It's a dope fit applicator. It's kind of gross because I've used it several times. Um, but overall I was really happy with it. I liked the coverage. I like the opacity. Um, it did dry my lips out just a little bit and it's a little bit more peachy than I originally expected. But overall, I was happy. So I was happy with the product, happy with the company. Um, the other day, well, like three weeks ago, I was scrolling through Gerard Cosmetics um, Instagram again, and I saw that they were having a sale on three of these gold tube lipsticks. And I thought these gold tube lipsticks were super pretty from what I'd seen on the pictures and stuff. So originally one of these cost $19, which is a little bit pricey, I think. Um, but you could get three of them for $20. And I was like, that's amazing. Of course I'm going to get three lipsticks for $20. Uh, so I went on the website. I started searching through, scrolling through all the beautiful colors they had. And I found three I really liked. And without even thinking, threw in my credit card information, pressed order, and had them shipped to me. Well, I am a very research-based person. And for some reason, I did no research with ordering <laughs> these products either time. I guess probably because they were kind of like cheap and on sale and I was like impulse buying. So after I ordered my three lipsticks, I then started doing research on Gerard Cosmetics and the colors themselves. So I started looking up swatch videos and I typed in Gerard Cosmetics, you know, lipsticks, swatches. And I went on YouTube and I found all these people who were like raving about the product and you know, they look beautiful and I was like, oh yes, I'm super excited, super excited. So I wanted to do more research and I was just typing it on Google and you know how on Google um, it'll finish your like sentence for you? So I was like, Gerard Cosmetics, and then it said Scandal like at the bottom. And I was like, what? So I clicked it, and it took me to a very unfortunate thing. Apparently, uh, Gerard Cosmetics was involved in a scandal. I'm not sure how long ago it was. I'm not really sure what unfolded, um, but that's not what this video is about anyway. Uh, hopefully, everything is resolved from that, but... From that scandal, it led me to other articles, other people posting about Gerard Cosmetics saying that it was kind of a scam. So when I started going through more articles, trying to understand what people meant by this was a scam, I came across several different comments, reoccurring comments about Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, one that I heard, I don't know if it's true, I don't want to call anybody out, do what you want to do, that's fine, but I heard that um, some YouTubers, no idea who, uh, when they are reviewing the Gerard Cosmetics products, they um, signed a contract before they reviewed the products before the products were sent to them, saying that they would only say positive things about 
the products. And I don't know if that's true. I don't want to call anybody out, of course. But that's why this one is 100% honest review because this is my first video. No one's going to sponsor me. <laughs> no one's going to send me product. Um, so you know for sure that I'm being honest about it. The next uh, complaint was about the packaging. Now, this is about the packaging of the actual product and the packaging that the product is shipped in. Both of those um, elements had comments about them saying that the packaging was chintzy, it wasn't well wrapped up, it wasn't well protected in the shipping process. Also, I saw several people on Instagram once I started reading comments underneath Dural Cosmetics, like photos that they posted and stuff, they were saying that they hadn't received their product, their product came in broken, they've been waiting months, things like that, and uh, Dural Cosmetics directed them to their website, be like, oh, leave a comment here, leave a message here, and we'll get back to you about your problems. Um, another thing that people were a little bit unsure about was the actual quality of the product. And for a brand that is kind of on the pricey side, you really expect quality. So I'm going to be just talking about a couple of these different elements of this product, and hopefully through this you guys will get a better idea about Dror Cosmetics and make a more informed decision on whether you want to purchase or not. The first thing I want to say is that my products did arrive to me. They did get here. The first one came super fast. The second one, not so much, but that is not the company's fault at all. I live in Kentucky and there is a major snowstorm when I was supposed to be getting my product. So it was delayed quite a while. And that's obviously not their fault. They can't control the weather. But I did actually receive my products and I feel so bad for those people who haven't received their products. I hope they get them to you soon. But for me, personally, my experience, I did receive my product and everything went well. The next thing people complained about was the shipping packaging. Now, I personally have no problem with the shipping packaging and here's why. My packages, both of them, both orders, came in boxes just like this. I'm not going to show. Oh, I'm trying to cover the top so you can't see my address. Boxes just like this, drug cosmetics on either side. When you open it up, it's really cute on the inside. They left you a little note. Hi, beautiful. Um, really cute little lipsticks and hearts. Um, inside down here it says, oh, thank you. It had paper that was wrapped up in it. Um, it had their logo stuck to the paper, kind of holding it together. Sorry, it's throwing off the lighting. It came with this um, little insert talking about some of their products, the shipping information, and some of these cute little poodles. Oh, it's little. And then the actual box and product itself. And I was blown away almost by the packaging because all I ordered was this little this little thing that's all it came in and I was like oh my gosh I did all this for just one you know <laughs> product to be shipped so as far for me as the packaging I don't have any complaints I feel bad though that other people are not getting the same quality packaging I'm not special there's no reason for them to send me special packaging or anything like that um, so hopefully that's something they resolve later on Next up is the packaging of the actual product, and here I do have a bone to pick. Um, they look pretty, just on screen like this, um, but you guys probably can't tell. There's a huge, huge difference between a couple of these uh, packaged lipsticks. This difference comes with the quality of the packaged lipsticks. Now, what's really interesting to me is they all look kind of the same, but they're really, really not. Okay, so first off, I got three lipsticks. We have Cherry Cordial, 1995, and Vintage, Vintage Rose. Um, I first pulled out Vintage Rose, I was really excited because everyone was talking about how the packaging felt kind of chintzy. And I was like, oh, this feels good. Like it has a weight to it. The lid feels really nice. It's on there tight. I can hear that lovely snap. Um, so I was really excited when I got that one out, but then I started unpacking the rest. And the next one I pulled out was Cherry Cordial. And I was like, wait a second, why does this one not feel as heavy as the other one? And I opened it up and I was like, this is totally different packaging from the Vintage Rose. And then the same thing happened with the 1995. 
you might not be able to see it on camera, but I'm definitely I'm going to show you there's a definite difference. This one is Vintage Rose and this one is Cherry Cordial. You can see automatically that these two are different lipstick tops. This one is just a sprayed um, gold plastic top. This one, however, has, it's like this is the top and then this is insert on the inside, I guess, to help it, you know, stay on the actual product itself. And I was like, what? That's so strange that the same type of gold bullet lipsticks could be so different. Um, another way to tell their difference, hard to see on camera again, but this one, which is Cherry Cordial, is a little bit fatter than this one, which is Vintage Rose. And this can be made super, super obvious if we take the Cherry Cordial lid off and try to put it on the Vintage Rose. That's what you get. It falls right off, just like if you put Vintage Rose on Cherry Cordial, it won't even go on. See that gap? I was just so, so shocked that something that should be so similar, packaged tubes that look very similar, were so different. Like if someone were to lay out on a table, mix them around, I didn't know which one was which, they, you couldn't see the bottoms, I would know instantly which one was Vintage Rose because the sleekness of the tube, it looks less fake shiny gold than these. I'm not really sure why they would make the lipstick that looks so similar, so different in the packaging. So as they say on their website, on their Instagram, when they respond to people, they tell you to go onto their website and there is a place where you can leave a message and they'll get back to you um, about your request. So that's exactly what I did. I said, hello, I just received the order I made a couple weeks ago and I have a question. I purchased three of the lipsticks in the three for 20 sale and not all the lipstick packaging is the same. One I received in the color Vintage Rose was nicely packaged and felt like a metal tube. But the other two, Cherry Cordial and 1995, were packaged in a cheap feeling thin plastic tube. I'm wondering what the difference, what the difference is and why one is so much nicer than the others. I sent this about two-ish weeks ago maybe. And I still have not heard back from them. They said it would take within 24 to 48 hours to get back to you. And I still haven't heard back from them. And I sent another message. And I haven't heard back from that one either. So I'm still checking my email regularly to see if they've responded or not. But I, I doubt they're going to respond. But now on to the actual product themselves. Um, opening these up, they really do look quite pretty. This is the shade 1995. This is the shade Cherry Cordial, and this is the shade Vintage Rose. So I'll do a little swatch for you guys. First we have 1995, and these are matte formula. Oh, I just tried to put the Vintage Rose cap on the 1995, and uh, oh no, don't be stuck, don't be stuck. There we go. That obviously doesn't work. Um, next up we have Cherry Cordial, got more of like a burgundy, Merlot type color. And lastly, Vintage Rose, so more of like a dusty pink. Um, going on on the hand, you can feel a slight tugging. Um, and I, I don't know if it's just me, but especially Cherry Cordial looks a little bit patchy. So trying them on on the lips. That's what we're going to do next. So the first one I'm going to swatch for you or try on for you is 1995. Okay, this is 1995. Probably not the best lipstick application I've ever done. We'll have to do for this. So I have problems with it. It is a matte formula and I understand that matte formulas are supposed to be dry applying to the lips, but this tugs quite a bit when you're trying to apply it to the lip and right now rubbing my lips together there is a creaminess to it but especially when applying it there really is not much creaminess okay so next up we are going to be trying cherry cordial again probably not my best lipstick applying job but hopefully it'll work uh, this is Cherry Cordial, and it applies definitely smoother, a little bit more creamier than 1995, but, I'm trying to get closer, 
Can you guys see? It's a little patchy. And every time I tried to like put more on to fill in the kind of see-through spots, it would just rub the product right off. And lastly, we are going to do Vintage Rose. And there is Vintage Rose. Get a little closer. You can see. It's a nice, kind of dusty, almost brighter pink than the swatch, it seems. Pink. It's probably being affected a little bit by the cherry cordial stain that was underneath. You got a little bit of cherry cordial stain around the outer perimeter. This one I think applies better than 1995. It's a little more creamy, a little more smooth when I rub my lips together, and it's not nearly as patchy as um, cherry cordial. And to end this, I'm going to be trying on the Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Serenity. Oh, and here's a swatch. This is Serenity, and that is just with one dip into the bottle. You really can get full opaque coverage with um, this Hydra Matte Lipstick, and it does dry down decently fast. Sorry, I'm like real fast right now. <laughs> okay, so I guess my overall review of Dry Cosmetics, what I have tried personally, is just kind of so-so. Um, as far as the packaging goes, I personally haven't had a problem with it. I've gotten very nice packaging. I feel really bad for anyone who hasn't gotten that nice of packaging. Um, as far as quality of the actual lipstick uh, containers go, well, I don't know what to say because one of them is nice and the other two are not. So one of them I enjoy, one of the other two, not so much. Um, as far as the actual products themselves go, some of them swatch out really nice and others are a bit patchy. Me, personally, I don't know if I'll be making another purchase from Jarred Cosmetics. If one person sees this and it helps them make a more informed decision about purchasing from Dora Cosmetics, then I have done what I came here to do, and that makes me happy. Also, I've been going through my lipsticks, and I think I have dupes for almost all the ones that I've swatched today. So this video has already been kind of long, so I think I might post one of those tomorrow, just showing you guys what else is out there for a lot cheaper. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for setting with me through this, and I hope you guys just have a great one.